Companies like Mitsubishi, Otis, and Schindler are already working on the elevators of the future. They've developed high-tech systems with extra-thick cables and triple-decker cars that can hold up to 160 passengers. Electromagnetic designs may eliminate cables altogether and even allow elevators to travel horizontally. The key, of course, is speed. And that's a problem because elevators can already go a lot faster than people can stand. This is NASA's Vomit Comet. It's a specially adapted passenger jet that lets prospective astronauts experience the effects of weightlessness. The plane climbs to over 30,000 feet and then goes into a controlled free fall, simulating the effect of zero gravity for its passengers. An elevator starting at the top of Millennium could plunge fast enough to briefly create this effect. It looks like fun, but folks heading to work with hot cups of coffee in their hands probably aren't looking for this much fun. So elevators are kept to more earthly speeds to keep passengers on their feet. What we're trying to do on this particular building is look for an alternative way of moving people vertically through the building, which is obviously the most important thing. You need to get people up efficiently and quickly. That's not as easy as it sounds. In a building millennium size, if each elevator stopped at every floor, the elevator shafts would take up 80% of the building. So in Millennium, express elevators will take people from the ground floor to one of the sky centers every 30 floors up. From there, passengers can change to local cars for the floors in between. Companies